Good morning. We're continuing our thoughts for the day focused on the one another's of Scripture. And we've been in Romans 12. And I want to look at verse uh, 16. Romans 12, 16 reads this way. Live in harmony with one another. Now, this isn't the only place in Scripture that this is stated. But notice the following uh, statement. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Now, I'm now no musician, so I can't wax eloquent about harmony. But I do know this, that harmony uh, can happen if three musicians, for example, playing maybe three different instruments strike different notes, but those notes, per, for example, those three notes form a triad or a chord. And if played, they can form that triad or that chord, and that sound is resonates beautifully, and it is harmonious. They're playing a distinct note, but they're playing it in that way in harmony with one another. It's interesting that it mentions here the idea of, of being haughty um, and never be wise in your own sight. It, it, it shows that pride is really always dissonant. Pride never maps on well to any uh, qualitative notes anyone else plays. Uh, pride always stands out. Pride never moves towards holiness. Pride never contributes to harmony. Pride never contributes to unity. It never maps on to virtue. Instead, it's always dissonant. So humility becomes a key then for harmony. So if you're going to live where, where your life is a kind of praise offering to the Lord, if you're going to live in community, where you strike the note, so to speak, of your speech, strike the note of your conduct, you strike the note of your way of being. It has to be a virtuous, humble one, so that harmony, uh, a coalescence, a kind of getting along and living in unity and living in connectedness to one another can be the kind of beautiful offering to the Lord that it can be. And it's to that end that Paul says, I want you to live like that. So live in harmony with one another. Uh, may the Lord help us live in the sweet complementarity of harmony to one another and not in the dissonance of pride. May the Lord bless you.